Hey there, comic fans, and welcome to the Cosmic Comic Clips Deep Dive. Uh, yeah. Ever imagine Spider-Man craving brains instead <laughs> of, you know, stopping bad guys? Oh, that's scary. We're diving into the terrifying world of Marvel zombies, where heroes become the ultimate horror. Yeah, we're talking about a universe where, you know, the very beings who protect us become the biggest threat. Right. It's a complete flip of the superhero script. And um, you sent over a stack of sources, articles on the upcoming Disney Plus series, deep dives from Wikipedia, even a comic breakdown video. So we can unpack exactly how this nightmare unfolds. Okay, so first things first, we got to talk about this new Disney Plus show. Right. It's said for a Halloween 2025 release. Right. And all the buzz is about how intense it's going to be. Yeah. TVMA for Marvel. I know. That's, that's wild. That's unheard of. It's a bold move for sure. I yeah. mean, a TVMA rating for a Marvel animated series is unheard of. It really signals that they're not holding back on the horror elements. In fact, Brad Winderbaum, the head honcho of Marvel Studios streaming, even teased that it's going to be, and I quote, Pretty intense. Pretty intense is an understatement if we're talking about flesh-eating Avengers. Totally. But this whole zombie thing isn't new for Marvel, right? This isn't just some Disney Plus invention. No, you're absolutely right. This nightmare actually started brewing back in 2005 in the comic books. It all kicked off in an issue of Ultimate Fantastic Four, where the team gets tricked into another dimension face-to-face -face with their zombified selves. Whoa. I know. That's messed up. So hold on. This whole zombie universe is separate from the main Marvel storyline. Yeah. We're talking alternate realities here. Exactly. <laughs> in the comics, this zombie-infested world is designated as Earth-2149. Think of it like a parallel universe with its own unique timeline and events. Right. Even though we see some familiar faces and themes borrowed from the main Marvel Universe, which comic fans know as Earth-613. Okay, so alternate universe check. But where did this whole zombie plague even begin? Was it some lab experiment gone wrong? An ancient curse, maybe? Well, buckle up, because the source of the outbreak is a pretty ironic one. The culprit is a zombified sentry. Sentry. Yeah. The guy who's supposed to be like Superman on steroids. Yeah, basically, yeah. He's patient zero. He is patient zero. It's a twisted take on the whole absolute power corrupts absolutely idea. In this universe, Sentry's immense power is used for consuming, not protecting. Right. The story goes that this infected version of Sentry accidentally stumbled into Earth-2149 through a dimensional rift, bringing the zombie virus with him. Okay, so one bite from Super Zombie is all it takes, right? Yeah. I've seen enough zombie movies to know how this goes. Unfortunately, you're right. One bite from Sentry and bam, you're one of the undead. Right. And in a world full of super-powered beings, well, let's just say the virus spread like wildfire through Earth 2149. This is where it gets really interesting, right? Yes. Because we're not just talking slow, shambling zombies here. Yeah. We've got super speedsters, heroes who can fly. I mean, how do you even contain that? That's a great point. You've hit the nail on the head. Imagine a hero like Quicksilver, infected but not realizing it, zipping across the globe. Yeah. He'd spread the infection faster than anyone could track. Even with the best intentions, it makes the whole scenario even more terrifying, doesn't it? Absolutely. And I'm guessing there were some truly heartbreaking moments as heroes turned on their loved ones. I mean, could you imagine Spider-Man biting Aunt May? Uh, yeah. The comics definitely don't shy away from those gut-wrenching scenes. Mm. We see heroes like Spider-Man, Captain America, and Iron Man losing control and attacking those closest to them. Right. It adds a layer of psychological horror that's hard to stomach. It's one thing to see mindless zombies attacking, but to see these heroes who represent hope and strength become the source of fear and pain, it's incredibly disturbing. This is getting pretty heavy. It is dark. I need a little bit of a breather here. Tell me there's at least a little bit of hope in this zombie-infested world. Oh. Some heroes who manage to resist the urge to eat their friends. Believe it or not, not every hero completely loses themselves to the hunger. Okay. We see characters like Black Panther and Wasp who somehow manage to retain a degree of control. Right. They're still driven by this insatiable hunger, but they can fight it, at least to some extent. It shows that even in the darkest of circumstances, that spark of heroism can still flicker. Okay, that's a little bit reassuring. But even with those flickers of hope, how do you even begin to fight back against a zombie apocalypse on this scale? Especially when some of these zombies are, you know, super powered. That's a great question, and it's one that takes us beyond the confines of Earth-2149. See, in the comics, things escalate pretty quickly. 
This isn't just a contained outbreak. The zombie plague actually spills over into other universes, including Gulp, the main Marvel continuity, Earth-16. We even have a group of cosmic-powered zombies called the Galacti venturing out into space to consume other worlds. Cosmic-powered zombies. Hold on. That sounds like the plot of a really messed up sci-fi horror movie. It's about as bad as it gets. These zombies are infused with the power cosmic, basically unimaginable power on a cosmic scale. And their hunger, it becomes a universal threat. Wow. Yeah. So what does this mean for the new Disney Plus series? Are we going to see the zombie plague jump to the MCU? Well. Is Thanos going to come back as a zombie with an infinity gauntlet? Well, we know the series will pick up from the What If episode where we first saw the zombie outbreak in the MCU. Yeah. It'll feature a mix of familiar and new characters, and I'm sure we'll see some surprising twists and turns. It's safe to say that things are going to get pretty wild. And speaking of wild, but the Wikipedia article on the show mentions that Iman Balani is reprising her role as Ms. Marvel. Oh, yeah. Her shape-shifting powers would definitely come in handy in a zombie apocalypse, wouldn't they? Oh, absolutely. And she's not alone. We've yeah. got Yelena Belova, Kate Bishop, Shang-Chi, even Jimmy Woo making appearances. Wow. It's going to be fascinating to see how these characters, some of whom are relatively new to the MCU, navigate a world overrun by zombified heroes and villains. Okay, I got to ask, who else is on the zombie menu? I know we've got the heavy hitters like Captain America and Iron Man. Yeah. But what about some of the other fan favorites? Get ready for this. Hawkeye, Abomination, Ghost, Captain Marvel, even Okoye. Okoye is a zombie. I know. No way. Wild, right. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of her vibranium spear, living or undead. <laughs> but with all this talk about heroes turned monsters, how did Marvel even get away with publishing such gruesome stories? Mm. Weren't there rules back in the day about what you could and couldn't show in comics? You're right. Back in the 1970s, the Comics Code Authority had some pretty strict guidelines. Mm, yeah. Zombies were a big no-no, considered too graphic and violent. But leave it to Marvel to find a loophole. They used the term Zuvembis to describe their zombie-like creatures. Zuvembis. Zuvembis, yeah. No, that's just clever. It was a sneaky way to sidestep the censors while still delivering stories about reanimated flesh-eating beings. Right. Of course, they still had to be careful with the gore and cannibalism, toning things down compared to what you might see in a modern horror comic. But hey, it worked. Speaking of modern horror comics, that comic breakdown video you sent over delves into some seriously intense short stories from the Marvel Zombies universe. Yeah. One that really stuck with me was the Blade story. Okay. You know the vampire hunter? Yeah. He's forced to team up with Dracula and his vampires. Oh. To protect the last remnants of humanity. That's crazy. Oh, that's a good one. It's a prime example of the moral dilemmas this universe throws at you. Blade, a guy who's dedicated his life to killing vampires, has to choose between his principles and the survival of humanity. Right. And get this, the sanctuary is essentially a vampire-run blood farm adding another layer of complexity to an already messed up situation. It really makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah. What choices would you make in a world where the lines between hero and monster are so blurred? It's a question that cuts to the core of what makes Marvel zombies so fascinating. We're not just dealing with mindless monsters here. No. These zombies retain their memories, their personalities, which makes their actions even more disturbing. Yeah, it's like they're trapped between their heroic instincts and this overwhelming primal hunger. The comic breakdown video mentioned a scene where Hank Pym, even as a zombie, expresses remorse for devouring their butler, Jarvis. Exactly. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? He's fully aware of the horrific act he's committed, but he can't control it. And it's not just Pym. In the comics, we see Spider-Man wrestling with the guilt of having consumed Mary Jane and Aunt May. It adds a whole new dimension to the traditional zombie narrative. This is heavy stuff. Yeah. We've covered a lot of ground already. The origins of the zombie plague the heartbreaking consequences for our favorite heroes, and even how this whole thing is spread beyond one single universe. Right. But we're just getting started, folks. That's right. We've only scratched the surface of this terrifying world. There's so much more to explore, from the cosmic implications of the Galacti to the moral dilemmas these heroes face as they struggle to hold on to their humanity. Oh, wow. Stick around, because this deep dive is about to get even deeper. It really makes you think, you know, what happens when the beings we rely on for protection become the source of our greatest fear? It's a bleak thought, but it's one that the Marvel Zombies universe explores in a really compelling, yeah. albeit terrifying way. Right. 
And it's not just the story that's unsettling. Yeah. Visually, these stories are just as disturbing. Oh, yeah. I mean, seeing these iconic heroes in their zombified forms with rotting slesh and those glowing eyes. Yeah. Nightmare fuel. Absolutely. Sean Phillips, the artist for the original Marvel Zombies comics, actually talked about the challenge of depicting these heroes in such a gruesome state. Yeah. He had to walk a fine line between staying true to the characters while also showcasing the horrific transformation they'd undergone. It's got to be jarring for readers, too. Oh. You spend years seeing these heroes as symbols of hope and strength. Yeah. And then suddenly they're these grotesque figures craving human flesh. The art style of those original comics is so distinct, gritty, almost photorealistic. It emphasizes the decay and violence. Right. It's a stark contrast to the more stylized animation we see in What If and what we're expecting from the new Disney Plus series. Speaking of the Disney Plus series, yeah. I'm curious how we'll handle the violence. Oh, yeah. A TVMA rating suggests they're going all in on the horror, but it's still a Disney production. Right. How far can they really go? It's a valid question, right? It'll be interesting to see how they strike a balance between the mature themes and imagery with the expectations of a Disney Plus audience. Yeah. Maybe they'll lean into stylized violence like what we saw in Star Wars, hmm. Visions, or perhaps they'll use clever editing and sound design to create a sense of dread and horror without explicitly showing everything. Yeah, it's definitely uncharted territory for Marvel animation. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how they pull it off. Yeah. But in the meantime... We can always dive back into the comics. Oh, always. There's a whole multiverse of zombie mayhem mm -hmm. waiting to be explored. Yeah. Crossovers, spin-offs, <sighs> alternate timelines. Don't forget those cosmic-powered zombies. Yeah. The Galacti. We touched on them earlier, but right. honestly, the concept of cosmic-powered zombies is something I'm still trying to wrap my head around. It's like a cosmic horror story mashed up with a superhero zombie apocalypse. Yeah. The scale of the threat is just mind-boggling. And it really highlights the creativity of the writers and artists who've worked on these stories. Right. They've taken this relatively simple premise, heroes turn zombies, right. and expanded it into this vast, intricate universe with its own rules and consequences yeah it's impressive to say the least it's kind of like what they've done with the mcu itself right wouldn't you say yeah they've woven together these different storylines and characters to create this massive multi-layered narrative I that spans movies tv shows even video games exactly and even though the marvel zombies universe is this dark horrifying place it still has these fascinating connections to the larger marvel continuity Right. Remember that arc in the comics where the zombie plague jumps into the ultimate universe, Earth 1610? Oh, yeah. Didn't that lead to some pretty crazy showdowns between the zombie Fantastic Four and their ultimate counterparts? It did, and it really raised the stakes, knowing that even the alternate universes weren't safe from the zombie horde. Right. It underscored the interconnected nature of the Marvel multiverse, Yeah. showing how events in one reality can ripple across countless others. It's a pretty mind-blowing concept when you think about it. And then there was that story arc where the zombie plague reaches the Savage Land. Oh, yeah. I mean, dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures as zombies, it doesn't get much more wild than that. You're telling me the savage land is already this dangerous untamed place full of bizarre creatures but adding the zombie virus to the mix talk about amping up the danger we see characters like kazar and shanna who are used to surviving in harsh environments facing a whole new level of threat as they try to shield their son from the infected hordes that story arc introduces this element of survival horror that you don't always see in the marvel zombies universe right it's not just heroes versus heroes anymore. Yeah. It's about fighting for basic survival against these impossible odds in a primal, unpredictable environment. And it emphasizes that no matter how powerful or skilled a hero might be, right. they're still vulnerable to these primal forces at play. Yeah. Even the most savage environments can become a thousand times more terrifying when you add flesh-eating zombies to the mix. Okay, I've got to ask something that's been bugging me. Yeah. If these zombies retain their memories and personalities, yeah. wouldn't there be a chance for some of them to, you know, regain control? Mm. Maybe their heroic side could fight back against the hunger? That's a really interesting question, and it's something the comics have actually explored in various ways. We've mm -hmm. seen characters like Black Panther and Wasp who can suppress their hunger to some degree, Probably. even forming alliances with the uninfected. And in some later storylines, the hunger actually fades for certain zombies, right away. allowing them to regain a measure of control and even try to undo the damage they've caused. 
So there is a glimmer of hope then. It's not a complete one-way ticket to Zombieville. It's definitely not a clear-cut situation. Okay. The comics present a lot of different perspectives on redemption. Some characters succumb to the hunger permanently, right. while others manage to fight back and reclaim their humanity. It's a complex issue, and there's no easy answer. But if the hunger can fade, yeah. does that mean there's a chance for a cure? Huh. Or at least a way to reverse the effects of the virus? That's the million-dollar question. In the comics, we see various scientists and heroes desperately trying to find a cure. But it's a constant uphill battle. The virus is unpredictable, and the risk of infection is always there. Even the most brilliant minds can become infected, turning their intelligence against humanity. It's like a race against time, with the threat of extinction looming over everything. Exactly. There's this constant tension, this uncertainty. Right. You never really know if there's any real hope for these characters or if they're all destined to become slaves to their hunger. It's a pretty bleak outlook, to say the least. This whole deep dive has been a wild ride so far. Mm -hmm. The Marvel Zombies universe manages to be both terrifying and thought-provoking. Right. It makes you question what it means to be a hero and what happens when the line between good and evil becomes blurred. It's a universe full of contradictions and moral dilemmas. Yeah. It forces us to confront our own fears about loss of control, the fragility of humanity, and the devastating consequences of a world where the heroes we trust become the monsters we fear. And it's not just about the action and the gore. It's about the characters, their struggles, right. their desperate attempts to cling to their humanity in the face of this unimaginable horror. It, it, honestly, pretty heavy stuff. And don't forget the wider implications for the entire Marvel multiverse. Right. The fact that this zombie plague can jump between dimensions, yeah. even threatening the main Marvel continuity, raises the stakes to a whole other level. It introduces this sense of cosmic dread, right. this fear that even the multiverse isn't safe from the insatiable hunger of the Marvel zombies. It's a question that's sure to keep fans on the edge of their seats as we all eagerly await the premiere of the Marvel Zombie series on Disney+. Plus, so it's, a, it's a chilling thought, right? Mm. These cosmic-powered zombies, the Galacti, setting their sights on the main MCU timeline. That would shake things up big time. Imagine the chaos, the sheer scale of destruction. Oh, yeah. The heroes we've come to know and rely on facing a threat unlike anything they've ever encountered. It would challenge everything we thought we knew about the MCU. Avengers. Endgame. But with a side of brains. Okay, maybe that's not the best visual. But seriously, the idea of these super-powered cosmic zombies invading the main MCU timeline, it's both terrifying and kind of exciting. Yeah, it is. It's like the ultimate what-if scenario. It really makes you question the limits of power and resilience, doesn't it? Can even the most powerful heroes withstand the insatiable hunger of the Marvel zombies? It's a question that goes to the heart of what makes this universe so captivating. You know, we've talked a lot about the darker side of this universe, the horror, the tragedy. Yeah. But amidst all the doom and gloom, there's also this thread of dark humor that runs through these stories. Oh, absolutely. It's what keeps things from getting too bleak. I mean, who can forget that scene in the comics where the zombified Red Skull tries to take control, claiming to be the leader of the zombie horde? And what happens? They eat him. Right. Exactly. They devour him without a second thought. It's a classic case of ironic justice. Even in their zombified state, some of these heroes retain enough of their moral compass to reject someone like Red Skull. It's a small victory, but it's a victory nonetheless. It's like even in the face of this apocalyptic horror, there's still room for these moments of absurdity and unexpected humor. It keeps you on your toes. It's a testament to the versatility of the Marvel Zombies concept. It can be horrifying, thought-provoking, and even laugh-out-loud funny, depending on the tone and approach. And that's what makes this whole thing so fascinating, right? It's not mm -hmm. just about zombies. It's about exploring these deeper themes, the darker side of heroism, the fragility of humanity, the consequences of unchecked power. It's a lot to unpack. This deep dive has been a real eye-opener, hasn't it? We've uncovered the origins of the Marvel zombies, traced its evolution across different mediums, and delved into the complex questions it raises about heroism, morality, and the fate of the multiverse. And honestly, we've only scratched the surface. There are countless stories, characters, and alternate timelines within this gruesome and captivating universe. It's a rabbit hole that just keeps going. For anyone looking to dive deeper into this world, there's a wealth of material to explore the original comic book series, the What If episode, the upcoming Disney Plus series. There's something for every horror enthusiast. And don't forget the board games. 
the one-shot comics, and the various spin-offs, there's an entire multimedia Marvel Zombies universe waiting to be discovered. So there you have it, folks. A deep dive into the world of Marvel Zombies, where the heroes we admire become the monsters we fear, where the hunger for flesh overrides the bonds of friendship and loyalty, and where the very fate of the multiverse hangs in the balance. It's been a wild ride exploring this twisted universe with you, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for the Marvel Zombies. But before we sign off, we want to hear from you. What stood out to you in this deep dive? What are your theories about the upcoming Disney Plus series? Head over to the comment section and let us know. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Cosmic Comic Clips for more comic breakdowns, Marvel Zombies lore, and all things comics. Until next time, true believers, stay safe, stay informed, and keep an eye out for those brain-hungry heroes.